Hey guys, what's up? It's little Ash here, Ashley Nicole. Um, so I'm sitting next to this beautiful fireplace. The heat is warm, I'm showing you. And this rocking chair has this decorative pillow on it and I like it. So I have on a reindeer sweatshirt and some just cozy sweatpants because it is cold today and it's just one of those cozy days. So I actually have my tripod on, woo! And I'm gonna try the best, my best to like not move the camera a lot. Anyway, um, I just wanna do some real life talk because there's things that people have been wondering, but my channel's not big enough to like, you know, go on the gram and be like, hey, ask me questions. And I just don't know, I'm not that type of like, I don't know. I'll get into that in a minute. But um, basically real life, real talk, life updates. Like, here's the truth. I'm spilling the tea, here it is. I'd rather not really spill my tea because Chick-fil-A tea is so much worth, okay, seriously. If you're still watching this content, thank you. If you haven't, um, subscribe, comment down below, and all the things, if you can. I don't know if my videos, okay, so I don't know if you can get comments, if I can, like some of my videos I do get comments on, but the reason that I don't get comments on my videos is because I have to mark my videos made for kids. And that's because there are obviously like kids in my videos or I am a little person and I look like one. And I don't really know what it means if you don't mark it for kids. Like I don't want it to be like, oh, this content is not for kids when it really technically is fine. Like I'm just a friendly family, like vlogger. Well, and I vlog really, it's just my channel. I vlog and whoever's on my channel wants to be. So it's not like I'm like, hey, you need to be on this channel. I'm gonna put the camera on your face. I don't do that. Um, and I'm also very careful about who I put on my channel, especially now after learning so much with the YouTube. But, um, so yeah, um, let's get right into it. Oh wait, if you're joining for the first time, I am legally blind. Um, and so yeah, thank you for joining. Um, all right, so real talk life updates. So let's get into it. Um, are you dating anyone? I've literally been asked this the past couple weeks. So I don't date anymore, um, and I'll tell you why. But I do. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna do what is courting, and you know everyone does it in their own way. Um, I'm not like gonna do like the whole chaperone thing, the whole like you can't hold hands, all that kind of jazz. But what I will say is this: this is my reasoning for this, and this was my decision only. Um, and, um, dating means you, you, you date with no strings attached. So you can just like, you know, date someone and be like, oh, this isn't working out. And it can really, really break someone's heart more than the other person. I don't think that's healthy. I don't think that's cool. I've been in dating relationships, you know, where it's like, I want to date you. I want to marry you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, and when you actually believe that person, it's like, ah, uh, yeah. And I'm sure that person doesn't mean to come across that way. But that's what happens when you date. It's like when, and I just wanna like help you guys out too. I mean, again, you don't have to take any of this. This is just where I'm coming from. Um, but yeah, so like d dating is just like, you know, you're dating, you're whatever. There's, you do whatever you do. And then if you wanna break up, you can. Like, I just, I don't feel like, I, I don't like the word dating. I'm sorry. Um, In a relationship, you know, that's fine to say. I don't mind that. But um, obviously if, if I were with someone, I wouldn't be like, I'm in a courtship with this person. I'd be like, yeah, I'm with or in a relationship with or whatever. I don't even mind to say courting. I'm not even saying there's anything wrong with saying courtship, but that's just, we're just talking about me and how I would address it. Um, but I just feel like that, like people, like, you know, when you date, you, you just, that's what you do. Like, and if you don't go on any dates, then I don't know how, that's boring. Um, but really, like, I just feel like, you know, when you are, so courting means you're actually getting to know that person. Like, you really, really want to know that person, and you want to be with them for the rest of your life, and you want to marry them. Like, I'm not getting any younger, and I'm not just going to go around dating people. That's just not how it's going to work. So, um... You know, obviously, getting to know someone, you get to know them before you say you know, can we move further in this relationship? You know, it's not like you meet someone, you're like, oh, let's court because we like each other. Like, no, you get to know the person and you figure out if that's the right person. 
So instead of being like in a relationship and being in like 12 different relationships, you actually get to know the person and then you decide if you want to like move further with them or not. And then if you do, then if you're, if you, if you're courting, if you do, then that means you've made a promise. Like you both are with each other forever. Um, mainly that's how that works basically. And am I courting? Well, um, I don't post stuff like that on YouTube anymore. So, um, you know, um, <laughs> I'm currently not, but when I do, I'm not going to get on YouTube and post that. And yes, I have in the past, I have posted in the past about like, um, oh yeah, you're, you know, I'm in a relationship with this person. I've only, you know, I mean, it's fine. Like there's kind of fun memories on there. Not going to lie. Like there's, there's fun memories and stuff, but it didn't work out. And the reason is I don't, first of all, like, and don't get me wrong. Like we both agreed. Like I even told him, like, you don't have to be on YouTube. You don't No, he wanted to, he wanted to do it. And then I think, you know, maybe he just, I don't know. So basically um, what happens is like you post it, like you're dating and whatever, you know, like it's a cool thing to do. But then you realize we broke up. So it's almost like, and I don't have to, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not um, obligated to do a video saying we broke up. However, if we promise a video, like for example, if we promise a what we got for Christmas video, and it never happens, that's not fair. So if I'm gonna do a YouTuber, I'm not gonna be fake. I'm not gonna promise something and then not do it. I'm not going to lie about things. I'm just not going to share everything that doesn't need to be shared. But basically, so then you have to do it if you're dating, then if you break up, you have to do a video, <laughs> we broke up and it's like, ah! Like, you know, it's like, and it's hard because I don't want to do it in the moment because obviously I'm feeling really sad, but then I also don't want to do it months later because then I'm, I'm fine again and I'm like, I don't want to think about this. So then I just go ahead and get it over with. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, no, nothing wrong with, you know, and yes, I did do some coping mechanisms in the past. Like I, it's kind of funny. Like I look at my YouTube channel videos in the past and I'm like, wow, um, you know, like there were some good memories and good times and there still are like i i'm trotting along on my channel and i'm fine with it um yeah it's very small but that's cool um whatever happens with it will happen um the main reason though and i will say and this is the truth i'm not like one of those fake vlog i'm sorry i'm just i'm trying to be professional but i'm not a fake vlogger at all like i i don't film fake stuff about me so if there is um so one of the reasons at the time, and I wasn't even, you know, knowing at the time what was going on, it was just things were happening as it was. And I had to let you or let you guys know, like, so we won't be doing this Christmas video because, and obviously you weren't going to see him in the vlogs anymore. So I had to let you know, like, why? Like, no, again, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be like, oh, no, he just doesn't want to. Like, no, we broke up. And that's because even people with special needs, sometimes people don't even realize this people with special needs blindness you know whatever it is we still face the same heartaches the same challenges as everyone else um you know just because i have epilepsy or cerebral palsy or dwarfism doesn't mean i'm exempt from hurt feelings or going through breakups or going through hard times um you know stuff like that that I think sometimes even people with special needs experience more than maybe someone without special needs. And I'm not going to say that for sure because I don't want to like, it's not like, you know, I don't want to say speak for those without special needs, but I will say people with special needs face, we already face a lot of trials as it is when it comes to our health and when it comes to things. So then whenever something like that happens, it's just tough. It's really tough. Like you're just like, mm, okay. So yeah, it wasn't to, you know, call out my ex-boyfriend from, I mean, I haven't been with anyone for like a very long time. So, and he knows this too. Like we've talked, um, I mean, not lately, but we've, 
you know, in the past we've talked about this. He knows nothing, nothing is against, sorry, I'm fixing, adjusting my hearing aid here. He knows that nothing is against him. He knows, he knows why it's fine. Um, so coping mechanisms. Yes, I did do a video where I like wrote a letter and was just letting him know how I felt. Um, and you know, sorry, I'm adjusting this, this hearing aid and it's okay. So yeah, I did do a video letting him know how I felt and everything. And that was more or less, more or less, is that a word? Um, sorry, it's the hearing aid, you gotta adjust that thing. Um, so that was more of just like, how do I show people how I'm coping someone with several different special needs? Like I'm not just legally blind. Yes, I'm legally blind, it's a huge part of my life. I have other things that are huge parts of my life. Um, so how do I deal and how do I cope with that? So the time, and this is not something I would repeat, but this is something that I did and I'm, ow. <laughs> I'm learning, you know, through that process. But it was more of like, you know, I could, a lot of YouTubers and I'm not, you know, comparing myself because I think this is wrong. This is just my opinion. I've actually seen YouTube videos where people get on there and they're like, let me talk about what he did. Let me talk about this and that. No, I don't think that's right. This is YouTube. Like the internet is forever, you guys. You post it on YouTube and like, you end up gonna be happy someday or you're gonna, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or it, and like, and like, you just don't, um, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, trust me, I've been hurt in the past more than you all will ever know. And you will never know, but I am not gonna post it on YouTube. It's not appropriate, it's not okay, and it's just not something that you should do, okay? I like to post mostly um, good times, like show you the good memories, the good times I'm having, um, how I do things, how I conquer and persevere life with, you know, all my special needs and heart condition and everything, um, and what I'm learning day to day or week to week or whatever it may be, but, um, you know, other than that, Yes, there may be a couple or a few down days or here and there, and I will share those challenges because those challenges are real. They can get raw and they are real, but I'm not going to get on and bash someone else. Not cool, not fair, not going to do it. Anyway, um, so yeah, on with that. So it's all good. Um, you know, sometimes things just don't work out, but that's, it's not a person that makes me um, switch from dating to courting. It's just the meaning behind it. Like, I don't want to be like, yes, let's date. And then people to get hurt again. Y'all I'm, I'm in my mid thirties. I'm not, I'm not going to do that anymore. And if, if I'm not making any promises, if that person that I end up with ever wanted to be on YouTube, like if they were okay with it, then, you know, that would be their decision. I wouldn't force them. I wouldn't make them if they didn't want to, that's okay totally okay with me and if you know youtube was something that i stopped for a while because i needed to spend my time with someone else then then i would um so youtube is not like i i don't i don't make any money off of youtube like i'm not saying i don't care because i really enjoy doing it i truthfully do but if i needed to, to take a while off because i'm you know having stuff going on in my personal life that doesn't need to be on YouTube, then I'll do that. Um, I'm not even saying that's gonna happen. I'm just saying like, you know, but if, if whoever I end up with, if they're like, no, it's fine. You can just film whatever, it's fine. That's fine. And, but let it be known. This is the last thing I'll say about this. Let it be known that I will not post that I am courting on YouTube, like not happening unless and until unless that person doesn't want that posted that's cool or until it's official 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 okay got it all right i'm glad we've got that established moving on now um so what are all your conditions Temporal lobe, epilepsy, myoclonic seizures, legally blind, retinopathy, prematurity stage three, which means my retinas are partially detached. Um, I have a repaired heart condition called tetralogy of Fallot. 
Um, I have um, moderate hypertonic spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy, which means that I um, means that I use a wheelchair um, and a special needs stroller on long distances. I do have a walker if I need it. I do have crutches and I do have the AFO braces and I use my white cane. My white cane is not my legs, it's my eyes, but I put it in there because it's important and it is what I use. Um, I have little person syndrome, so I do not have disproportionate dwarfism, but I do have proportionate, so I'm everything's proportionate to my body. Um, about 68 pounds, four foot six. Um, I shrunk over the past couple years, literally. Um, so what is up with your, like, you know, somebody wants to know, like, what, so a couple years ago you were in a toddler crib, what was up with that before you went to a big bed? So this is real. Um, at night I was having seizure activity going on and yes, I'm on treatment, but, um, we still have hiccups and we're learning every day how to deal with those. Um, so I, um, I was having seizure activity to where I would even fall out of the bed. And that's dangerous, especially when, you know, I'm sleeping and I don't know what's going on and I'm blind and I don't, you know, you don't know. So at the time I was having um, a lot of seizure activity. So we just did the toddler crib and I slept comfortably. And I really did, you guys, like I don't, if I, I can pretty much sleep anywhere. I mean, for the most part, like it needs to be comfortable, but if it wasn't comfortable, it wouldn't have happened. But the reason that the adult slept in a baby bed was because I could fit in it and I was. I was having, I mean, it was, it was, it was a pattern. I was having some serious seizure activity at night and that was the best way. Like if I was gonna fall, I was gonna fall far and you know, the seizure alarm would go off and people would know. But um, that was the safest for me. So that's why. Um, I don't have to do that anymore. Um, but we do still have that <laughs> toddler crib for other people and you know, whatever. I still fit in it, but it doesn't matter. I don't sleep in it. So, um, that, and then, um, so I do have a loft bed and I do have a, a full size bed as well. I have like two bedrooms, you guys. It's pretty awesome. Um, which I need to go clean soon. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so, oh, goodness, that's a lot. Um, do you do physical therapy anymore? No, I do physical therapy exercises at home, um, but I do not do physical therapy. It just, it's, it's, no, it's too hard. Um, why did someone ask me? So, <laughs> um, oh, do you really go trick or treating on Halloween? Yeah, with my nieces and nephews. Y'all, I really don't care to go up on the porch and be like, give me candy because I'm little. I do it for them. They want me to go, I do it for them. It means something to them. And if, you know, if they, when they stop, I'll stop. It's kind of how it goes. Um, again, that's just me. Um, okay, so I think I pretty much, um, What's your favorite restaurant? Y'all, come on! Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A and Chick-fil-A. I, it's November. I love their peppermint milkshake right now. It's so good. So amazing. Um, what advice would you give to other people, special needs or non-special needs, um, wanting to pursue relationships? Y'all in this relationship stuff. I will say this. I don't just speak to special needs people. I am a special needs person, but I have a lot of friends who don't have special needs and I'm very thankful for that. Um, so basically, know your worth. A friend said that to me and I'm passing it on to you. Know your worth. Um, you can take from that what you want and that's that. Oh, people know, who is Dot Nolan? Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my word. Dot Nolan, you guys don't understand, like, she, so she started teaching me violin when I was real little at the blind school, like, I was, like, 10, 
we're talking 25 years ago. I knew her before then, or she knew me, but I started to really get to know her then. She's not blind, but she taught there. And she taught music and choir and violin. And, you know, so I started off with a little quarter size violin. And um, then I went into choir as I got into high school in the public school system. And she, we still stayed in contact. And then um, it's probably going on 10 years now that we've actually really daily we keep in touch like literally daily we text we talk on the phone she likes to email but she mostly texts or calls me i love her so much you guys she's even over over her 80s okay i'm not i'm not trying to like i'm just being real i'm not trying to be like she's this old woman no she would say that but i'm not she i keep her young at heart that is what i do my best to do I love her so much. She is one of my best friends. Like, I don't care how... You can't say, just because this person's, like, really old, you can't be their best friend. Yes, you can. You know why? Because, yes, I do have more than one best friend. Somebody somebody said you can't have more than one best friend. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can have your most trusted friends. But anyway, Dot Nolan is, like, one of my, like... She is my absolute, like... <sighs> I don't, I don't, you know... She, um, she has a lot of wisdom. She's a great Christian example that I can look up to. Um, no, I don't play violin now, but I sing and I can do, well, I'm not that good at piano. We're not going to, um, you know, but I'm, I'm okay at piano, but I'm more elementary based style, honestly. But my main voice is singing. And so I love Dot Nolan. She, um, she just like, I help her with things and she helps me with things. It's, it's, it's amazing. Like she'll help me with prayers and wisdom. And you know, she's, she's just the sweetest ever, like literally. And then I help her with like technology stuff. So that's cool. You know, all the iPhones and everything, but, um, so yeah, Dot Nolan was, uh, was my music instructor. And now we're like best friends, literally like, Ah, I love her so much. So, if you have a Dot Nolan in your life, which there's only one Dot Nolan in this world, but seriously, if you have a one Dot Nolan, if you have a Dot Nolan in your life, hug them tight. That's all you gotta do. Um, yeah. So she's amazing, and I'm gonna talk to her soon. Um, there was another thing. I don't even know. Like, oh, about your eyes. What's the update? I'm not going to do any more updates, I don't think, until I have an eye doctor appointment on the 19th of November. So we'll see then. Um, I'm still, there's still a lot of progress going on with my eyes. Like, I'm able to see, uh, you know, as you guys saw, I was able to read print for the first time. Now, I'm still understanding it. It's not something where I can pick up a piece of paper and be like, oh yeah, this says this. I don't know how far this is going to go. I just know that never say never. Sorry, my shoulder itches. Woo. Um, I'm just going to say never say never because you just don't know. You just don't know. Um, and oh, so are you going to still film? Or like, what? what is your YouTube schedule? Last thing, I don't have a schedule. So if I don't want to film one day, I don't have to. But I do enjoy doing it. Again, the main reason I do it, let it be known is because I just want to show people what it's like to live a world of my life. I'm actually really grateful to be alive today, you guys. I am. Um, with epilepsy and a heart condition, like some of the doctors say, like said, they're surprised I'm even here just because of my health issues. Not, you know, but I am here and I ain't going nowhere. So everything's fine, I'm healthy, but it's still a miracle to them. Like I don't walk in and I'm like, oh, I'm a miracle. This is what we have been told. Like, this is not fake. We get told every doctor we go to, wow, you're nothing less of a miracle. So, you know, I, I say that with a humble heart because like, wow, you know, it makes me feel good to be a miracle because then I can share my journey, my story with other people and let you know that you can be a miracle too. I know I'm not the only miracle in the world, but I'm definitely thankful to be one. Um, no, I don't have a schedule. Now, I will, even if I were to, like, do less videos, which I'm not, I don't know, I'm not saying I am, I'm just saying, 
no matter what, I will always post my music. I will always post music, videos, and stuff like that. So that's what I will do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's November. If you have any other questions, um, I don't know if you can comment because, again, I don't control this. YouTube controls this. It makes me make my video for videos for kids. Well, it lets me choose, but I, I don't know. Like, if I don't make it for kids, it's like, I don't know what that's going to do. And if, like, it's not... My videos are fine for kids to watch, so I can't just be like, no. Anyway, so um, thank you for watching this video, and peace.